Alright, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra's display. As shown in the teardown video of this tablet on my channel, the display had a line for reasons mentioned there. It needed to be replaced, therefore here we are. There are a total of 5 steps to follow. Step 1 is basically removing the faulty display, but that is already done. You may want to watch the teardown video of this tablet to find out how. Step 1 is however painful because the adhesives are not only on the edges but also on the inside, making it hard to not damage the flex cables. Step 2 is to remove the old adhesives on the tablet's frame. To do that conveniently, heat up the edges just a tight bit. You can then use tweezers to roll off the old adhesives. The reason for removing them is number Number one, the new display already comes with it. Second, because of reason one, if you leave them attached and directly attach the display, you will notice gaps between the frame and the display, so it's great to remove them for an even assembly. After the older adhesives are gone, step three is to connect the two cables. But do not remove the plastic covers that secure the adhesives from attracting dust. Place the top edge of the new display where the camera holes are on the frame, but make sure it is even. If you see the two selfie cameras through the hole, the display is perfectly placed. Now connect the cables without moving the display in any direction as any movement can damage the 2-in-1 BTB cable. Step 4 is to take off all the plastics including the plastic protection on the hole for the fingerprint reader. Finally, step 5 is to attach the display and gently press the edges with your finger to solidify the adhesives. The other way, or rather a better one, would be to place the tablet upside down on the heating pad for just a minute at 60 degrees. As a result, adhesives are softened when heated and then firmly attached when returned to a normal temperature. But to really make sure that the display is evenly attached, I will place some weights under 400 grams on the display. Alternatively, you can also use rubber bands but keep them on for like 2 hours. After all the steps are completed and the display is successfully attached, it's time to fully charge the tablet and then power it down. Everything seems to be working flawlessly. My tablet just got a new life and I'm very excited about using it for things like taking notes and watching TV shows. I hope you enjoyed the process. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.